Okay, we need to just always remember to follow Pindus. And I'll just write this down here just to know that we're going to go left or right. So let's start out with um, 14 squared times 15 minus 2 squared plus 20. Now, with this one, you don't have a, I mean, you have two parentheses. So if we're going to start first uh, with two parentheses, uh, then it really doesn't matter which one you start out with as long as you just do them together and then subtract the second one from the first one. Um, so let's do this one. Uh, 14 squared um, is 196 times 15. And if we do 196 times 15, that's going to be... Uh, what was that? 196 times 15 is 2,940. So if we come over here, 2 squared is 4 plus 20. That's going to be 24. So 2,940 minus 24 is going to be 2,000. 916. Okay, we did parentheses, and while we were in the parentheses, we did the exponent first here, and we did it first over here. And then we added them, or then multiplied and added over here, and come up with both of these. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so uh, let's look at another one real quick. We have. Okay, this one is 19 plus 7 squared times 8. All of that's in parentheses, and we're going to take 5 away from it. All right, so we have parentheses, but inside parentheses, we always have to follow PEMDAS inside parentheses. So the first thing we're going to do is our exponent here. 19 plus 7 squared is 49 times 8 minus 5. Now, exponents are done. Now we have to do with multiplication first. So we're going to say 49 times 8. And that's going to be 392. And then we're going to say 392 plus 19, and that would be 411 minus 5, so that would be 406. All right, so remember, just follow PEMDAS in that one. All right, let's do one more PEMDAS. And then we'll do some solving some variables. Okay, here we go. We have, hmm, which one do I want to do? Let's do this one. 15 squared times 18 plus 9 minus 19. Okay, so if we're following PEMDAS, we have to do what's inside the parentheses first. So we're going to say 27. Okay, because 18 plus 9 is 27. And then we're going to do our exponent here. 15 squared. Well, 15 squared is 225, I think. Yeah, 225. 225. Okay, so now we can do our multiplication, 225 times 27, and that is 6,075. I'm going to erase this so you don't think it's a fraction. 
and then minus, whoops, did not want to do that, <laughs> go away, minus 19, uh, so if we subtract 19 from 6,075, we get 6,056, That's just following our orders of operation, our PEMDAS. Now, the other thing is these are just expressions, solving these expressions. Now, the other thing we talked about was doing our uh, solving for a variable, solving for X. So let's look at... Um, Um, let's do some simple ones and then we'll kind of grow it, um, expand it on out a little bit. So, let's do, <laughs> okay, let's do this one. If we have... Five x minus two equals three x plus four. Okay, we're gonna say, can we do anything on this side of the equation? Well, no, we can't because we don't have common terms there. So we can't do that. Do we have anything on this side of the equation that we can do? As in PEMDAS and all that type of stuff. We don't because we don't have uh, any common terms there. So, what you're going to have to do here is get your common terms together and then solve for x. So, we have our x here and our x here, and then we just have regular numbers here. Okay? So, we're going to get our... The way I do it is I want to get my x to be positive... So <clears throat> that means I wouldn't subtract 5x here and 5x here because that's going to give me a negative 2x. So I don't want to do that. I always want to try and keep my x positive. So I'm going to subtract 3 from this side, 3x, and 3x. So Because if I do it to one side, I can do it to the other. It doesn't matter. So this cancels over here. This would be 2x minus 2 equals 4. Now, I also want to get my regular integers together. So I'm going to do the opposite. Because we can't do anything, we're going to do the opposite. That cancels over here, leaves me with 6. So I got 2x equals 6. Well, how do I get rid of that 2? Because I just want to solve for x. Well, I can't do anything, so I'm going to do the opposite. That's 2 times x, so I'm going to divide by 2. And x is equal to 3. And so let's plug it in. 5 times 3 minus 2 is equal to 3 times 3 plus 4. Well, that's 15 minus 2 equals 9 plus 4. And that's, was that 13 equals 13? So that checks out. Okay. So all that was, was the... Uh, just getting our terms together and then solving. So let's see another one here right quick. And remember, you do PEMDAS all the way until you can't do it anymore, and then we got to solve for X. So we're just going to do the opposite. So let's do, this is a good one. And you've seen this one before. Or not this exact one, but one like it. Okay, so we have parentheses, but we can't do anything inside those parentheses. Okay, there's nothing in there to do because we don't have common terms. So then we're going to do exponents. Well, there's no exponents. So then we're going to do multiplication. And we know to do multiplication, we do distributive property. Multiply both of those. And we're going to do the same thing here. Okay, so what's... 4 times 
1 minus 4. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. And that's going to be equal to 8x. And then we got negative 5 times x right here. So that's negative 5x. And then we have 5 times 2. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Okay, now, since we've redone it, let's look and see what we can do now. Well, there's no more multiplication. There's no more division. So let's do addition and subtraction. Well, I can't do anything over here. That's as far as it's going to get. So now then, what do I got over here? Well, look, I've got common terms here. 8x minus 5x. We can do that. That's going to be 3x minus 10. And now you've got it looking just like the last problem. This is kind of how the last problem started out. So we've just manipulated it down to get it to where we need to solve for. Okay. And remember what I said about trying to get my x's to be positive? Well, since I would be subtracting 3x over here to get it over here, that's going to be a total of a negative 7x. Well, I don't want to do that. That's just not, that's adding more trouble. So let's add 4x. Let's add 4x. That cancels. This gives you 7x minus 10, and that's 4. Let's add 10 to this side. That cancels over here and leaves you with 14 equals 7x. Well, you got to get rid of it by dividing it. So x is equal to 2 because 14 divided by 7 is 2. Remember, that's just 7 divided by 7, so that is 1x, or just x. And that's the reason why it is by itself again. Okay. Um, I think that should be good for that one, or for those. Uh, but just remember uh, some other things. So those are kind of like PEMDAS, um, some other things that you need to uh, work on and memorize are multiplication of integers. So negative times negative, positive times positive, negative times positive. And remember what I, I say is different signs is difference which means it's going to be negative, okay? So plus times plus equals positive. Positive times a positive is positive because they're the same. These are same. Same thing right here. Negative times a negative is equal to a negative. They're the same, okay? But if we have, ever have a plus times a negative, it's always going to be negative because they're different. These numbers are different. Different uh, signs and same thing for negative times a positive it doesn't matter the order it's still going to be negative okay i think those are the major things that we need to work on uh, i'll send you some uh, questions uh, that you can be going over too and if you have questions on them and don't understand why uh, i'll send you some of the answers as well uh, if you don't understand why you got an answer, just uh, send me your work along with the, the equation, and I'll try and uh, just send it to me in an email or a text message, and I'll, um, I'll try and solve it for you and show you where you went wrong.